Hey guys, what's going on? This is Wes back with another tutorial of Autodesk Revit Essential Training Series. So in this tutorial, I'll be talking about making floor. So I've got my plan here, what I used in a previous tutorial. So on the build panel, so make sure you click on this arrow button and select architectural floor. So click here and now we have our modify panel for our floor command. I've got this general tools here. So let's look at the modify panel for our floor. So I've got this boundary line here. I've got slope arrow. I'll go through with each of these commands in a second. So here we got our basic objects. So here we got our basic tools, right? So there's a tool called pick walls. So to create a roof, I'm going to select this tool because it's way easier to create a line. So I'm going to start picking the walls. I'm going to pick this wall. I'm going to pick this wall. Make sure you click on this outer side of the wall, not inner side of the wall, which is going to give you error if you select the inner side of the wall. I've got that wall and I'm going to select this wall, outer side of the wall and this wall, which is going up. So we'll fix that in a second. And I'm going to click on this wall and we got one more wall left. Okay. So now while you're in a floor command, doesn't matter what you do, even if you press escape twice, it's not going to get you out of the command because the drawing has been grayed out. If you click outside in an empty space, it will not let you get out of the command. So there's only two ways you can get out of the command. Either you accept the command or you can cancel the edit command. So, all right. So now we got this. So I've got to fix that thing here, right? So I'm going to drag that roof boundary. I'm going to drop it here. That's fine now. Now I'm going to use my general tool, which is extend trim corner. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to select this wall and I'm going to select this roof. All right, we got that. And I'm going to select this line to this line, which is going to create a line here. Okay. So now we got this, we got that. That's pretty much okay now. So to apply that floor, what do you do? You click on this check mark button and it's going to give you error. Click continue and it did not apply there's still an error in the roof so we're going to just troubleshoot that there you go there's the error so the roof cannot intersect with it. so i'm going to select this line and select this line which is going to trim that part all right so now if i click on this check mark button now as you can see that the floor has been basically colored as a blue that means our floor has been applied okay so to look at that i'm going to go to my 3d view you can click here on the 3D view or you got this 3D view option here. So click on that, which will take you to 3D view. Press shift and press your mouse wheel and move around it orbit. Okay, so this is what we have right now. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my level one. We got the floor for the level one, right? So I'm going to create a floor for the level two. So go to your level two. Now you can see that drawings, but it's been grayed out because we are on the level two right now. And that structure is on level one. So I've got to create a few walls here. So I'm going to create a wall. I'm going to select from this point and I'm going to start from here and maybe there. I can fix that later. So that's not an issue. And let's keep going. And just draw that there. Now we're gonna. Okay, we got the walls here now. All right, so I'm going to edit them a little bit. So I'm gonna select this wall, just move them a little bit to the right. To make sure that this is exactly on the top of our floor. So it still didn't work. So I've got to move that. All right, this is fine. Select this wall. Move it a little bit down. That's done. All right. I think rest all good. I'm going to select this wall and just going to move it to the left a little bit. Yep, that's fine now. Okay, so we got our walls for the first floor. We can create a room later on, but let's create a floor now. So I'm going to select the floor command architectural and I'm going to use the same tool called pick walls. I'm going to pick this wall, pick this wall, pick this wall, pick this wall, pick this wall and pick this wall. Here we're having a trouble because I forgot to move the line here, but 
that's why I can do that I'm gonna just drag that a little bit up drop it here and I just make sure it's fine I'm gonna select that wall and I'm going to move that a little bit up as well that's fine now and your floor okay so now if you select your floor and you can always edit the boundaries by clicking on this edit boundary command select that boundary drop it down a little bit yep that's fine now all right so now i'm going to go to my 3d view so supply that go to your 3d view and let's have a look so we got the floor for our first level as well okay so now all right so we have done the floor tutorial but i'll cover few more things in this tutorial so I'm gonna go back to my level one and here we have a drawing right so let's have a look how can we make stairs so I'm gonna select the stairs click on this arrow button and we got stairs by components we got stair by sketch so the simple way to use stairs is sketch so I'm gonna select this stair by component and let's draw a stairs here so I'm going to draw a stair from here and I'm gonna draw here right and let's have a look what we have here so I'm gonna apply that this is giving me error that there's no uh, stopping point for that so I can select that and I'm going to move that a little bit further yep that's fine up now and now it's fine so go to your 3d view you can't see these things now because we have our roof on the top and we have our things on top so to see the stairs, what I can do, I'm gonna go to my level one, level two actually, and here I've got this um, stairs, right? So I'm gonna edit the boundary of my roof. So I'm gonna select that old thing and I'm gonna click on filter, check none, and just select floors, apply, okay? Now I'm gonna edit the boundary. I'm gonna click on edit boundary, and now I'm going to trim something here okay so let's say I'll draw another line from here all the way to here drop another line here and draw another line here and now you can use your trim and extend tool click here click on this line well it would not let you do it because that's um, so I'm gonna trim it off okay so you can trim that off uh, according to roof in uh, coming videos alright thanks for watching stay tuned